my channel. So what I'm doing today is another unboxing, but what I'm going to be doing is comparing the Allure Beauty Box and Sephora Play. They are different prices. The Allure is $15, but you can get your first box for $10. And I'll have a link down below where you can get your first box and you'll also get a new member gift, like an extra gift for signing up. And the Sephora Play is $10. The Allure box doesn't have a profile, so you don't fill out any kind of profile. They do sometimes have variations with the products, very small variations. Everybody usually gets the same main products and Allure has been killing it lately. They've been doing so good. The Sephora Play goes by your profile. You do fill out a profile. I'll have the link for that as well. The profile, I think, really does make a difference. So after I received September's box, I completely redid my profile. It really did work because for this box, for October's box, I was super excited and happy with what was in it. So I'm gonna actually unbox the Sephora Play first. When you do open the box, it comes just like this. It has the pamphlet on the top with the bag underneath. You always get a really good uh, description of the products, no prices, but you do get the theme of the month, which is Scary Good Beauty. And then on the other side, you get your little card here, which can give you 50 bonus beauty insider points and it used to be where you can only use it in store but now they actually gave you the option from this point moving forward that you can redeem this online but keep in mind that it's only one code per transaction they did change the bags which i'm really not too into these bags this is just like a plastic ziploc bag and they say that it is reusable on one side, it says open here to start your next beauty adventure, hashtag Sephora Play. And it does just give you like the Sephora Play designs on the other side. Now they used to give the, the fabric drawstring bags, which I really did like. I throw these out, I don't keep these. But let's just get into the products because that's the main reason for this anyway. The bag doesn't really bother me either way. So I'm gonna grab the first thing, which I wanna grab the bonus. And this month it is from the brand Chloe. I don't know if I've actually tried this before, I may have, but it says it's a classic scent that combines rose and peony to embody the confident, free-spirited woman. It says that um, it has florals and the top note is peony, middle note is rose, and base note is honey. I don't know if this is actually a scent that I'm going to like. So I'm a little torn between this um, scent because it almost has a little too much floral notes for me. I'm not into florals at all, especially rose. I don't like wearing anything rose, but I'm gonna let it sit on my skin and see that, see if it changes. Now I'm gonna just grab the next thing, which is this little box here. And this is from Philosophy, which is a really good brand. This is the Purity Made Simple Eye Gel. It's a gel formula that visibly reduces the appearance of puffiness in bags around the eyes. The size of this is ridiculous. This is even less than a sample size, seriously. It is, it's so tiny. Let's see what else we got then. Here is another really, really tiny thing. This is from Tarte. This is actually, um, I've been really wanting to try this. This is the Rainforest of the Sea Quench Hydrating Primer. It's a hydrating primer that refreshes skin and protects it from environmental pollutants. Fast absorbent primer softens and smooths skin with algae and marine plant extracts. Hyaluronic acid delivers moisture, so skin appears visibly firmer and suppler. I'm not even gonna open it up and try it out. It does have a safety seal on it, so I'm not even gonna open it because I really don't wanna waste any of the product. But I know that it's like a gel-like consistency, almost like a gel moisturizer, it looks like. This is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is a stick foundation in banana. It says it's a pale yellow light to full coverage foundation stick with a demi matte finish. The application stick is ideal for highlighting contour and touching up. The packaging is extremely deceiving because this is all the product that you get. You don't get any more than that. So I see where you can like build that up because I what I did this with a really light hand and then I went a little heavier and you can I can definitely see where you can build it up, but I don't know if this is gonna match me. This is what it looks like when I put it on my hand. This might be just a little too light for me. Next but. thing here is, let's grab. This is the Benefit Gimme Brow and it's in 05 Deep. I actually use number six 
but I do have some pencils from Benefit that are in five. I go back and forth between the two. My eyebrows are black naturally. They are very dark. So I do go either or. This is the little mini gimme brow. That is what the packaging looks like. And let's see. This isn't something that you could actually like swatch because it, it'll come up on your brows. But this is what the brush looks like. It has little fibers. And when you do brush it through your brows, it will build your brows up. And you can go lighter or darker. What it is is a tinted brow gel. Okay, last but not least, this is the nicest size out of the whole bag. This is from Caudalie. This is the Vino Perfect Radiance Serum. This is actually a pretty good size compared to everything else we received. The packaging with this brand is always really elegant as well. Um, it is a glass container and this brand can get pretty pricey. It is an oil-free radiance boosting serum that visibly evens skin tone. This lightweight, brightened formula combats the appearance of dark spots with natural ingredients. Plus it absorbs quickly into skin for ultimate hydration. So it does have like a milky consistency to it, but once you do rub it into the skin, it has like a more of a thinner consistency, but yes, it absorbs really quickly. So that is it for the Sephora Play. But now let's get into this Allure Beauty Box. I'm really excited to show you guys what's in this. I love this subscription so much. This is how the box comes every single month. It does come wrapped in plastic, but I already opened it up. Um, I had to see what was in it. This is a $15 a month subscription and you do get around five products. When you open it up, it always has a pamphlet like this on the top of the box. And I really do like this pamphlet because it gives you a really, really good description of the products and it does give you the full size prices as well. The first thing is something I've actually really been dying to try and it's from Hourglass. This is the Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. This is in ultra black. So this is a mini version of the full size. The full size is gold packaging. It does have this same shape to it. I'm not gonna open this up because every time you open up a mascara, air gets into it and it does dry out quickly if you don't use it right away. The full size price of this is $29. You can get it at hourglasscosmetics.com or Sephora. I, I know they have it at Sephora. If you enter the code HGALORE18 at checkout, you can receive 20% off your entire purchase of $100 or more, and that's on the Hourglass website. Okay, moving right along. This is from Sunday Riley. This is the Good Jeans Lactic Acid Treatment. The full size of this is $105. So if you were to purchase this on sundayriley.com and you enter the code ALORE10 at checkout, you can get 10% off your order. And that's pretty good considering how expensive the, these products are. This is what it looks like size-wise. And it is five milliliters but it may look small but honestly I have a few of these and they've lasted me at least two two to three weeks because I only use it once a day and you don't need much at all this works well for me at night and then the next thing to actually go with this is another Sunday Riley product it's the ceramic slip cleanser that this is a floral scented cleanser and has a liquid consistency and it does foam just a little bit it's infused with detoxifying clay that sucks oil and grime out of pores which makes it ideal for those with normal and oily skin so the size of this is one fluid ounces the full size price is $35. The next thing was a variation product. Everybody received the same product, but it could have been in one of four colors. This is the Vais Saint Laurent Tatouage Couture Matte Liquid Lip Stain. This is like extremely small at the bottom. I have no idea what shade this is. All I see is that there's a number 16 at the bottom and I really like the shade but you could have gotten either Rouge Tatouage, Rosewood Gang, Nude Emblem, or Singular Taupe. It's a really, really nice thin formula. This is what the applicator looks like. It feels extremely light on the skin. I think this is a beautiful formula and it's a beautiful shade. I cannot wait for this. Full size, $37. You could get this at yslbeautyus.com. Use the code YSLallure at checkout. You could receive a complimentary Touche Eclat Blur Primer. 
a deluxe 10 milliliter sample and free shipping on orders of $50 or more. That's actually a really good coupon code. The next thing is actually something that goes with one of my Sephora Play products. And it is from Caudalie, the Vino Pure Skin Perfecting Serum. I've tried this before. I've had this a few times. I love this serum. It is so good for, for oily skin, combo skin. The full size is $49. If you purchase it at caudalie.com, you can use the code 20% off 100. You'll get 20% uh, off of purchase. Next thing here is from First Aid Beauty. This is a very generous size of the Ultra Repair Cream. This is not as pricey. This is actually $12 for, for two ounces or $30 for six ounces. This is like a moisturizer you can use everywhere. It doesn't clog pores or make skin look or feel greasy. You can use this anywhere. I know that this is such a nice moisturizer. I like to use this on my hands, on, on my neck. I usually, I will use it on my face, but I like to use it more so on my neck my arms, my elbows. I mean, it's really good. It didn't have a seal on it at all. I don't know why. It's not liquidy, but it's not too thick either. It doesn't like fall down your hands at all. I would say that this is a great winter moisturizer. And then the last but not least, I was so excited to see this too. I was actually excited for everything. I love everything in this box. I've been wanting to try this so bad. This is the BKR Paris Water Bomb. This is from that brand that has those glass water bottles. That I actually bought one of them, the smaller one. Right after I purchased that, they came out with this lip balm. And this is only the sample size, but the full size, they sell a separate cap for the water bottle. And the lip balm actually snaps into the, the cap for the water bottle. So when you carry that around, you have the lip balm right on the top. This is the packaging. I think the packaging is very fresh and like clean. And it is just a really nice basic lip balm. It looks very hydrating just by looking at it. The full size of this is $22. And now this is a coupon code that I might actually use because if you go to mybkr.com and you enter the code BKRX Allure 20 at checkout, you could receive 20% off your order. That's actually a code I may use because I wanted to get a bigger bottle plus the full size balm with the cap. It's perfect to go underneath your YSL lip stain. So you could put this underneath that matte, matte lip stain. It'll keep your lips smooth without causing your color to fade or rub off. By itself, the balm has a subdued sheen and takes care of flaky spots quickly. Out of all the boxes I get, BoxyCharm, Birchbox, Sephora, uh, Beauty Fix, I get so many. This one was my favorite. Super excited to try all this. Overall, between both boxes, the Sephora Play and the Allure, I am really happy with them. I loved everything. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Let me know if you received any of these subscriptions and what you think was the best box of the month out of these two. Keep a lookout for more unboxing videos. November will be upon us very shortly. And until then, I will see you guys soon. Bye.